Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about Spring Framework Hello World. I have written a very simple application to understand Spring Framework. So, Spring Framework Hello World application. Let's look at a picture. So, exactly uh, what, what exactly Spring Framework does? So, so without Spring Framework, what will happen is you have an application. There are some dependent objects that you want to manage and create create and manage so what you will do is you will use a new operator and start creating those objects and you will use it you will start using it and managing it so in spring framework what they are providing is you can inform what are the different objects say it might be a third party like jdbc jdbc related stuff or uh, or jms or whatever it is so so different objects so you can your application can inform through XML or annotation. Okay, these are the objects, different objects I want. Whenever I require, can you please inject it to my application? So this is called dependency injection. So you are you need some different objects, and you in your application you can inform the Spring framework in XML or annotation. So XML is nothing but what you want. Okay, how you want what are the properties what are the objects you want you can just configure you can tell actually speaking xml in the xml file you are telling informing the spring framework okay these are the things i want can you please inject can you please inject uh, these objects in my application so this is called dependency injection so this is what spring framework mainly supports so it creates and manages all these dependent objects and whenever we ask for it will inject in our application so now uh, we are going to see a simple example so uh, what I have done is I, this is my application and there is a bean called hello world ok it has a name and setters I have a setters setters is important because in the spring module xml file so this is the xml file I told you this is for configuration this is where I am going to tell spring framework what I want and how I want so I am telling spring spring can you give me this class object and there is a property I require I need a property name and the property value should be this this string so what will happen is whenever I ask for this being this will this object will be created and this property will be set so what happens is this setters will be called by spring framework and it will inject that particular value this value will be injected by spring framework so I have my object ready whenever I call this method so let's see how exactly it works so I'm going to load that I'm going to load that XML file that means it's going to parse XML file it, it prepares all the objects and be ready with the objects uh, to confirm let's put a breakpoint here whether it is set name is called or not let's check that so this class path application context is very important this is like a small container I would say factory which is going to parse XML file and it's going to scan all the beans bean definitions and it's going to create the objects and be ready by default it is going to create singleton objects so it's going to create this and this is the ID where I can ask the spring container to give me so this is the ID I'm using can you give me this bean from the container that's what I'm saying so context dot get bean I'm giving the ID so let's see what happens when I create a class path see can you see here set name I didn't call so spring framework has called this set name that means it's preparing our object from the spring module XML file okay so let's go to this method our method So it's done now. I'm going to call so the if you see here the spring module.xml file is loaded, say loading XML file and it has created the object, the object is ready. So on now I'm going to ask for the I'm going to ask for that particular bean with ID. So I'm going to I got already the object with proper if you see here the name is ready 
so the name as name attribute has been set by the spring framework itself so i'm going to call this okay so this is how spring framework works and i'm using currently 2.56 there are already 3 dot 3 dot x version have been released already this is a, just a basic version just for showing the xml example i have used it so this is how spring framework works hope this spring framework allow world application is useful thank you and all the best